Hello everybody, Brad the Guitologist here. In today's video I'm going to do uh, something that someone suggested in the comments to another one of my videos. I'm going to upgrade my Variac here uh, with a little bit of a better uh, meter. This meter that's on here, this analog meter, is not very accurate. Uh, and the readings up here are not very accurate. Uh, so we are going to rectify that with a new meter. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, stick around. And if you're thinking of getting a Variac and uh, doing this yourself, um, here's the same model Variac that I use. It's just a different color. Uh, you can get these pretty cheaply. Um, this is the cheapest one I, I think I've found on Amazon right now with free shipping uh, is 59 bucks. So that's that's pretty damn good. I think that might be even cheaper than what I gave for mine a couple years back. So. And here's the LCD meter. Um, you can find these different places, but I'll put links to both the meter and the uh, Variac down in the description if you want to pick those up. And it's actually these two longer screws on the front we need to remove, and this front facing should come off. All right, here's the inside of the Variac, and what we're going to have to do is drill a hole over here so we can run some wires in and out. And I'm going to mount the unit out here on the top like this. Okay, we've placed a grommet in the hole so that our, uh, our wires don't get marred up. Okay, here's the unit wired up, and what we're gonna do, we're gonna come in here with some hot glue, and I'm just gonna douse this area with hot glue, and that's gonna serve two purposes. It's gonna keep these wires from being pulled out, or help, at least help with that, uh, and also it's gonna um, insulate this area. I'm gonna also put some hot glue over these screws, so there's no chance of reaching behind here and accidentally electrocuting oneself. Uh, so let's flip it on and see what happens. Well, that wasn't uh, good. And remember when you're installing this, I made the mistake of drilling on this side first for my wire holes, and this thing was actually upside down. They, they've got this <laughs> pasted on here upside down, so the, um, the meter actually needs to go on this direction with the, uh, with the little reset button on the right, if you get one of these. Okay, here's a final walkthrough of the wiring. Um, this brown wire is our hot, it comes into here, it's left alone. Um, when you close the switch, it comes out of the other side and goes through the fuse and then on into the Variac. Uh, the neutral wire comes out of the Variac and hooks here and of course goes back out. Uh, but it also goes from that point uh, through uh, that would be the input so it's one of these I'm not sure which one it is but it really doesn't matter uh, you can hook it to this one or this one it doesn't doesn't really matter um, the hot is hooked on up here off of the variac and that goes to the other side of the input and the load is hooked up to the jack or excuse me to the socket rather so that's the way the thing is wired here are the instructions for this unit and I thought I might just record them here in case I lose them that way I can always refer back to this Okay, let's check out what this meter looks like. I have my soldering iron plugged into the Variac and let's dial it on up. The meter doesn't begin working until about 65 volts or so I've noticed. As you can see there we have our current 
rating, we have our power, and our energy in watt hours. There's a hundred volts, we're already up over 20 watts of power. And there's our 120 volt mark. And we'll notice down here, this one's reading 110 volts or, or so, just over 110 volts. So that's obviously not an accurate meter. And uh, it's also worth noting that the little mark that I've made on my Variac uh, is accurate according to this as well. It's dead on. So this, I believe, is, is just as accurate as uh, my Fluke as far as voltage is concerned. So yeah, that's uh, how you modify one of these uh, cheap Chinese Variax uh, with one of these cheap Chinese uh, displays. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please hit subscribe. And for now, y'all take care.